Hello, glorious creek spilling way that I haven't been to in years. How the hell are you today? It's been a very, very long time. I think I made one video here with a with a booze, like a 1v1 challenge video. We didn't really catch much, but there was a gar, and uh, yeah, they kind of redid it down here, so we're gonna give it a whirl. I've always struggled here, but uh, I know people occasionally might potentially, maybe, possibly catch big fish every now and again. So we're gonna try, see what we can get. Huh? Wow. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me and it is hot as balls. I haven't even casted a line and I'm sweating my ass off, but I guess it is summer. Is it summer? What is today? I don't even know what the day is. We've been moving for like two days. We did finally get our house. Eventually I'll show it to you once Boo gets it all arranged and all pretty and stuff. And I don't think I'm gonna make a whole video about the house, but maybe at the end of the video or beginning of a video, I'll show it to you or something, if you care. I don't know if you care. But anyway, I haven't fished for like five days because of that. So uh, yeah, you guys had to watch some older videos. As you know, everyone was like, oh, this video started April 27th. Yeah, I never do that. And actually that time I just didn't catch any fish. That's how long it took me to catch fish. It had nothing to do with moving, but there's a couple other ones that were older. But anyway, I'll shut up now. We're not even gonna fish with night crawlers till the end. We might have to fish down the way eventually. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw lures and we got live bait. Oh yeah, we got live bait, I should tell you. We got goldfish which is legal in Nebraska. I'm not gonna let them go when I'm done. I'm gonna use them as bait, take them home, put them in the garage with an aerator and use them again some other time. And then we have shiners. I don't know why I bought shiners, but we got little shiners. Maybe a walleye will eat it or something. And uh, yeah, there's a gar. We aren't too worried about catching him, but I uh, guess if we got it, we will. So come along with me, see what we can catch. Got about five hours. Might try to hit two spots, maybe make a longer video. We will see if the fish cooperate and stuff the pal. That was kind of a long-winded intro. Does that guy ever shut the hell up? Seriously, people comment that all the time and I just want those people to know. No, I do not ever shut up. Actually, I do. I really don't talk as much as my videos put out or maybe I do, but I kind of, I edit a lot, kind of cut out blank space. So it makes me really seem like I just really never shut the hell up when um, there, there is times when I'm fishing that I do shut up. So yeah, what else do we have to address? What do you guys keep asking that I need to address? Oh yeah, Thai Pig Patrol. Everyone keeps asking about him. I've already brought it up in videos for the people that have been around a while. But uh, yeah, we went to high school. We both thought of the name together. We had like a little apparel thing going. It wasn't very profitable, so we stopped. And um, yeah, we both came up with the name. I drew the logo by hand. We both went to the same high school in Nebraska. He moved to Texas, good for him. So that's why we both have Pig Patrol in our YouTube name. We get along, we talk frequently. When he was in town, we fished the other day, but we didn't do very well. So that won't be a video, but I hope that answers your question. Comment any other random questions you want me to address in the next video down below. But for now, we're gonna talk fishing because I haven't fished for a while and I just wanna catch something. What the shit was that? Did a damn carp just jump from the top or what was going on there? I don't think the bobber is really gonna be the play in a spot like this because it's the current's ripping, but I have it tied on. So I'm gonna kind of let it float around for a little bit. And we got another bottom hole rigged up that uh, we will also try eventually, but this bobber is going to have to go. Go, I can already tell. You guys hear that voice crack? <laughs> Puberty at 30. But anyway, I'm just going to kind of watch the bobber for a second. We can get this thing just kind of spiraling in that back pool. That'd be cool, but I just don't really see that happening. We shall try, though. Eh, get the bottom out, and then got a little swimming bait tied on, so... Got a lot of flatheads out of these creeks on that swimming bait. So ideally, I would enjoy it if I could catch one on the swim bait. But I have not caught my first flathead this year. Have I even said flathead in this video? I want to catch a flathead. That's the goal. So we'll see if we can do that after I get this mess undone. Hmm, who's up to bat next? Let's put one of these little brown buds on. See if that works. Yeah, he's kind of orangish, I guess. He's kind of like an in-betweener. Not bright orange, but... Not super brown either. Something just swirled by the bobber. I don't know why I didn't eat it. I also don't know where the snags are here, so it's gonna be kind of a learning experience. That is pretty deep. I got one, got one. It hit it on the fall. I was just gonna reel it in because I thought I might be snagged, but one seriously ate it on the fall. Hell yeah. First flat out of the year, old darky. Uh, he ain't even big, but that was badass. Uh, okay. What? What? 
Look at that, guys. I hook flatheads better in current when I don't even know I have a bite. That's one thing I struggle with a lot is actually hooking them in current. I'm just not very good at it, but do you guys see that? I might leave that one unedited because I literally flipped it out. It got pushed down a ways. It felt like it kind of ran into a rock, but I guess it ran into a flathead. Are you chitting me right now? Are you chitting me? We've been here for eight minutes, most of which was me rambling about nothing, but yeah, okay, I think the bottoms work. You just a little tyke. <gasps> you piece of trash, I should have killed you. I'm just kidding, that actually felt kind of good. Are you guys wet? You guys are very wet. Um, all right, let's go home, guys. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe. This video's over and stuff. I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, I guess let's get another goldfish out. Get you guys cleaned up, because that was instant. And yeah, not even sure what to say, which is rare. I am gonna cut that bobber off though, I know that. So I'm gonna cut this clip, first clip over. Gonna get two more goldfish. Get them out on the bottom. Throw the swim bait. That's the plan. See you there. Hopefully we can get another or something else. Alrighty, bobbers off. We're gonna throw this one up in the heavy current again because it has a three ounce weight instead of a two ounce weight. Even though the two ounce weight seemed to work, I mean, might as well put the heavier weight where the heavier current is. Then we need a new goldfish for the other one. But I already said that, so I'm not sure why I'm saying it again. Doesn't really seem all that snaggy down there. I'm gonna regret saying that, but doesn't really seem super snaggy. I'm gonna get some snags, I know it, but I brought a chitload of weights, so we should be good. We should be good. Um, that one's just the same as everything, but if you're new here, two ounce weight, swivel, 40 pound leader. I think this is actually a six aught octopus circle. Looks a little smaller. I'm not sure. Usually use seven aughts, but yeah. Mine's a little frayed, but actually no, I think that's catfish slime. It's not frayed. All right, come here goldfish bud, who's up? Who's up? Let's use one of the little goldies. Sorry, there's gonna be a bunch of nut shots in this video, I think. Especially if we keep getting bit like this on goldies. Just threw this one back out. I think we got hit already again. Something's happening. Piss. Can you steal my goldie? Nope. Definitely had my goldie though. <laughs> We're getting a lot of bites, they just aren't getting it as good. That one the hook kind of doubled back and I just, I didn't do the best hook set, we'll say that for sure, but there seems to be a lot of them. So as long as we uh, keep trying and stay persistent, we should get another shot, I'd imagine. We'll throw that goldfish back out for now. Kind of beat up though, so uh, yeah, we might have to freshen him up a notch because uh, he's not looking the best. He is not looking the best, but started out hot with the first flathead of the year and it's been kind of downhill since then. So I think I'm gonna bust out the night crawlers in between just to keep myself occupied. But uh, main goal is still flatheads. Now de we've definitely had three or four flathead bites. I'm not sure what I left in, but we've had three or four flathead bites. That was the only one I actually tried to hook and messed up, but yeah, they're around, so. Lost almost every swim bait I own, the heavier ones anyway. There's one snag over there that's just gnarly, so I don't think the uh, artificials are necessarily gonna be the play. I think one might have this one again. Tighten your drag a little more this time. Might have just been rolling because of the current too. No, that's a fish. I got you that time, sucker. I think. There we go. I don't think it's big, but it's definitely angrier than the first one. Another one. Another one. He swallowed that fast. Even with the circle hook, he got it down. Flathead number two. 31 minute clip. That's how long nothing's happened for. It didn't feel like that long. Only felt like 10 minutes, but. Time flies when you're fishing, huh? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Come here, little nursery bud. Let's see if we can get you doctored up. Daddy Stash is pretty good at it. About the same size as the first one, a little lighter in color. I don't think it is the uh, same fish as the first one, but definitely same same year class. It's good to see babies every now and again. I mean, obviously we'd like to catch a 30 or 20 or a 15 or a 50, but gotcha. Cool. Flathead numero dos. Never caught a flathead at this waterfall in my entire life. And uh, down creek where I fish pretty frequently, I've only ever caught one flathead. So they might be kind of micro sized, but they are sized and they are flatheads. 
I stand by the fact that I think he was better off without a hook in him. I mean, obviously, every fish is better off without a hook in their throat, but sometimes you're causing more damage than you're doing good, so sometimes it's best to just leave it in, but he just had the little tippy of the circle guy in there, and uh, yeah, we got her out. Backed it out the gills. The old bass fishing trick. Got it done on the flathead. We also started with 12 goldfish, and we're down to five, including this one. But I suppose if we go through all of them, that's the signs of a good day or a snaggy day or both. And as of right now, it's both. But I don't know if it's making a difference or if it is the difference, but the two ounce little roll weight and the lighter line and the lighter rod has been better. I mean, I think this is just kind of pushing it down, down the stream into their face. And I think it holds eventually, but I think at the beginning where those past two have bit it, it was just kind of rolling along. Literally, oh, it just got hit again. Literally, I've casted this out four times and it's got eight four times. Got him. Four times. I need to just concentrate on this pull. I normally would let flatheads eat it a little bit longer, but since that last one swallowed it and we're using kind of smaller baits, I just went for it, you know? When I'm fishing like a eight inch bluegill under a bobber, I'll wait a while. There's a rock falling. That one, I just figured, let's just go for it. Thumped it though, thumped it. Well, flyhead number three. Messed up tail, look at him. He's been through some shit. He has been through some shit. All right, we're not going to another spot for this video anyway. This is already going well enough. I mean, I have a three ounce flat weight on the RD rod and it's getting bumped occasionally, but it falls to the bottom and stays there. It doesn't move. This one kind of rolls, that one hit it instantly. It hit bottom. Maybe I just, uh, it hit bottom and got eight, but maybe I just, uh, have the RD rod too close to the waterfall or something? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I need to end this clip. Sometimes when long clips happen, I lose the end of the footage. So hopefully I didn't lose it. Pray for me. We're back. Did I lose it? Did I keep it? If I did lose it, I just caught two flatheads one after another. And I missed another one. Let's hope I didn't lose it. Um, but yeah, let's get another goldfish, throw it out, see what happens. I've almost been liking the brownie buds better. Did I use a brownie bud on the last one or a goldie bud? I don't know. I think brownie bud. I'm just gonna hold it for a while. I mean, why the hell not? Been hit three times in like five minutes, and three of those five minutes we were fighting a flathead, so. Let's hold on, see what happens, you know? I also need a new battery, so see you soon, and stuff. That's a good bite. On the other side of the damn place though. Nitro is in the way. Please still have it. It still has it. Don't be a gar or a turtle. Might have dropped it. Shit. Damn you, Nightcrawler. Damn you. That thing got slammed. That might have been a channel dumping line piss balls we were fishing good that was embarrassing though trying to do too many things at once i guess it was moving fast though so i'm not that worried about it it's probably a channel cat if i had to guess but who knows we definitely could have caught that one if we wouldn't have been dicking around could get eight again that was intense that thing got to the other side of the pool fast. I wanted that one bad, but that was my own fault. That was my own fault. The guard just ate my weight. I was reeling in and it ate my weight, not my crawler. Guards are crazy little fellas, aren't they? Crazy little fellas. All right, hopefully we get another shot because that was embarrassing. We gotta make up for that one. Something happened to the goldfish again. Yep, damn Gar has my goldfish. I can see his ass. Look at that. He's right at the surface. It all makes sense now. I knew it was Gar. Little jerks. Finally dropped it. Finally dropped it. Well, poor goldfish bud seen better days. But that makes me feel better about missing the last one. I don't know. I still don't think that last one was a Gar though, but could be. That last really embarrassing miss with the Nightcrawler in the way was, uh, look, a Gar just bit my line. 
How many gar are here? <laughs> I don't know. That last embarrassing miss when I was dicking with my nightcrawler pole might not have been a gar, but I'm pretty convinced that the other ones were. I'm just confused as to why they're not eating that one. Very odd. Nightcrawler's getting eaten by a gar every every time it hits the water too, so I'm sick of this thing. And we'll just wait and hope that the next fish that eats goldfish is a flathead, and if not, then we did pretty good, I suspect. Good enough for who it's for. <laughs> Anyhow, keep a close eye on her and see if uh, the next one that bites is a flathead. But if a gar steals all my goldfish, then um, yeah, I guess we're leaving. Got something. Something just hammered the swim bait right at my feet, and I think it's a flathead. I figured I'd just try it quick before I left, and just right at my feet, just absolutely plowed it. Kind of just thought it was a gar at first, but then it about ripped the rod out of my hands. Definitely a catfish. I think it's a flathead on an artificial. 10 pound test, moon eye jig, 1 8 ounce, and a pulsar. Is that a channel or a flat? Whatever it is, it's. I think it's the biggest one of the day. Is that a channel? It is a channel. I've never caught a channel on one of these swim baits. That's almost cooler. Kinda. But after getting dicked around by Gar for the past three hours, uh, it's definitely a welcome addition to the uh, catches of the day. Male spawning channel. One of my goldfish is getting railed by a Gar. I don't even care at this point. He probably doesn't either. He probably just wants the damn Gar to eat him and get it over with. That thing is beat up. The goldfish, that is. About to pull out line. It is pulling out line. Come here, channel bud. I mean, I'm talking about munched. All right, I know. You're big and bad. I don't think I've ever caught a channel on one of these swim baits. I know I already said that, but I was just saying it again. That dude has some meaty lips. All right, bud, quit flapping. Cool. Definitely getting ready to spawn, that's for sure. I think the flatheads are a little bit behind the channels. Or this guy might be post-spawn and the flatheads might be spawning. I don't really know, but cool. Swim bait fish. Swim bait fish. You guys get wet? A little bit. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm gonna reel these buds in and set them free. Or I don't. I don't know what. What are you supposed to do with bait that's already on your hook? I'm not really gonna put it back in the bucket. Am I supposed to throw it on shore? I don't know. That one that got beat up by a gar. He's probably dead. So maybe the other one I'll just throw back in my bucket. I haven't really decided. But anywho, pretty successful. Um, definitely the best trip I've ever had to this spot. With that being said, I haven't tried this spot a whole hell of a lot. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty stoked about it. I haven't got a fish for a little bit, so. It's ready to take anything I can get in like five flathead bites, three flatheads and a channel and dicked around with some gar for a while is good enough for me. And if it's good enough for you, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate you watching. Definitely appreciate all your support. And um, yeah, see you soon. Stuff and things, but thanks for watching and stuff.